Um, I would say that some of the disappointments are, especially in those first six months, and still some still happens. There are times where I walk into to rooms with uh, other executives of the church. Um, and we're having conversations about, specifically, I'm speaking about uh, the church's understanding of sexual orientations or gender identities or lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender persons. And the disappointment and also discomfort sometimes is um, I, one, realize I'm the only person who represents any of that category that's sitting in the room. And then, two, I represent that sometimes um, I feel like I'm being talked about yet still there. Uh, and there's been moments where I feel like I'm being talked about, but not engaged with. Um, and I've had early on, I wasn't totally sure how to navigate that conversation. Um, and then finally, um, I've gotten a lot better about um, kind of politely reminding the group that uh, there is a gay person in the room. But I also want to be really clear when I do that, that um, I don't speak on behalf of uh, every gay person or every lesbian person in the whole church or in the whole world. That often happens when we're making um, sweeping statements about a community of people. The same thing happens when white people talk about black people as if we can make one comment about all black people. Um, and so the disappointment early on was the church having those conversations and then not realizing that there were resource people sitting right in front of them. Like I said, slowly and surely we're getting a little bit better about that, but we're still taking toddler steps. Um, I would also say that aside from my position, just as a person who's a member of this church body, some of my disappointments are in the fact that um, I don't know that I don't know if we know how to to have a holistic conversation about. Um, sex or body image or orientation or gender without making it about um, gay people or lesbian people or bisexual people or transgender people. And I feel like that because we so often centered any of those types of conversations around one segment of humanity, I feel like we miss out on the beauty of what the conversations really could be. Uh, we make sex into a one-sided object. We make orientation and gender identity into something that has to be pitted as an argument instead of seeing all of those things as gifts. Um, so I, that's been a bit of a disappointment and I've seen little steps to encourage better behavior of that. Uh, but like I said, they've been little steps and uh, I, th I think we have a, a way to go with that.